Mr. Friday on the Joe Show. And, Bob, we're going to talk about rude food this morning. All right. Um, it, it's a story about a guy that may have done the worst thing you can do. Well, not the worst thing, but it's up there when your wife is in labor. Uh, most hospitals oh. won't let women eat while they're in labor just as a precaution. You know, a lot of hospital procedures don't eat before you come in. You know, and, right. and if you're in labor... You got to just ride it, it sounds out. Sounds like one of them, yeah. But their their partner can still eat. So let's say that it is one of those long drawn out labors. It's not a you know in and done, but like twelve hours, and you got dad pacing nervously in the in the hallway, and finally you know hunger pains start to kick in. Well, there's a photo online now that's causing a big debate. It shows a guy eating a pizza in the delivery room. Well, his other, his significant other is in the middle of a contraction. You can tell because her face is making the face of a contraction, <laughs> like like anger yes, and, and right. pain and everything else. And he's just got like a meat lover slice in his hand. Jeez. <laughs> oh, is it right or is it wrong for this guy to have <laughs> ordered a pizza and eat it in the delivery room while his wife is mid-contraction? Mid labor, the only way that this could possibly be right is if they had like a pact going in, yeah, you know, that was made weeks prior to that. That if it went past twelve hours or whatever, that he was he'd be able to do that. Otherwise, how could this be right? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's gotta it's, be wrong. It's one thing to order the pizza and eat it like you know somewhere else. It's another thing oh, and, to bring yeah. the pizza. Now, did they did they bring I'm, the delivery guy up in there? How did they get? I mean, there's so many questions. Well, there's got to be you know, a sterile issue there someplace, doesn't there? You would think so. You would think so. I oh. mean, a pizza box, you know, the last pizza that I got, I don't think I could classify the pizza box as sterile and clean. <laughs> I, you know, and I don't, you know, and if anybody's, you know, you know, works for a pizza business. I don't mean that. You know, in the, well, no, it's it, the worst there's term, a lot of hands pizza, touching pizza it. Pizza has, yeah, that, that huh. and pizza does create grease. Yeah, which I don't. Which <laughs> it doesn't sound sterile to me. No. Oh my goodness! I just I I have. Are there a people feeling... that think this is? Is there people that think this is right? Yeah, there's some people that are like, I don't see anything wrong with this. I I don't think those people. Um, have a uh, healthy relationship child? going on, or a child, child. <laughs> or a child. Uh, but I think people that see nothing wrong with that, um, they they are probably single. That would be all they're, all they're, I can they're, guess. They're the people that are also putting steak in a toaster, <laughs> which is going around TikTok lately. Steak in a that. toaster. How many times yeah. do you have to push it down to get it done? Well, and I, I maybe you haven't seen this. This girlfriend was making steaks for. Uh, you know, her, her loved one, mm -hmm. and she puts these steaks in, you know, the typical pop-up toaster. And then she shows it later in the TikTok that, you know, here they are on the plate. She pours more uh, steak sauce on it than I would probably ever use in 100 steaks. But, uh, and then takes, takes a bite of the steak, which you can see, I, at least I saw it was, you know, somewhat done. Unbelievable. Now, I would never put a steak in a toaster because, you know, you talked about grease again. Yeah. It's going to... That's going to start on toaster. fire. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. I don't think... I like my steak well and done. These, and, and these people are voting. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> they did. They did. They're not anymore. They did vote yeah. in Michigan. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's put a wrap on it. Uh, yes, that we is need to, I believe. Fisher Friday for uh, this week. Bob, thanks so much. You're very welcome.